Jim Taylor, take one. Behavioral advertising is changing the way clients are doing business every day, uh, how they interact with their agencies, data providers, publishers. Uh, it's a sea change in terms of how people are reaching out to consumers and doing business. Recent studies have shown that uh, consumers more readily embrace a brand that is transparent about its online behavior uh, advertising practices. Uh, it's a win-win for both consumers and brands, and brands are only going to benefit from this. And, uh, all right. um, guys, uh... Nate Holt, take one. With all the attention that's being given to behavioral advertising and articles in the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal, consumers are very sensitive to this right now. If they see a company that's out there and they feel like the company has overstepped its bounds in terms of its tracking them, its too big brother, I think there is significant potential that that company you know, could fall a few notches in the eyes of a consumer and that consumers would be upset about this sort of tracking. Seth Rose, take one. A lot of consumers are concerned that things and behaviors that they take online, actions that they do, their clicks and sites they visit, things they purchase are going to be tracked and used uh, to market more products to them and more services to them. And you know, while some in, in some cases this is good, uh, there also is a fear on the consumer side that this could be overwhelming. Uh, the industry itself has uh, begun to work on its own guidelines, some self-regulatory principles that they could use to perhaps uh, you know, uh, police the industry on their own.